Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. This is Logan Burgess. Today is Friday the 26th for the weekly wrap-up. Let's turn right over to the Fire Tip trading platform, see where we closed off the week here. Corn trading down one and a quarter cents. Soybeans trading up seven and a quarter. Wheat in Chicago down twelve and a half and Kansas City wheat trading down seven and a quarter. Now one thing that is kind of interesting here is that well, wheat really had a very strong day yesterday, but it seems to have a pretty weak Friday here. Do you expect this wheat market to move lower here as we uh, begin the next week? You know, I wouldn't look for uh, it to move any lower here. We did have a big day yesterday, especially for Kansas City wheat. It's not surprising that we had a little bit of a pullback here, but I think right now the fundamentals in this market really support uh, some support and a move higher here into next week. What really has been driving it here recently is the condition of this crop. We know it had a very poor start given the drought of 2012, and here just in the last week we've had some some pretty severe uh, freeze uh, frost freeze threats hit that crop as well. We did get some data out from Planalytics that can kind of help to quantify how bad things are out there and maybe how high this thing can go. If you take a look here, Planalytics does provide state by state uh, bushels per acre estimations here. Uh, and as you can see, they're quite varied. What we really want to focus though on is this next slide. Let's take a look and see how much just over the last two weeks. Uh, how much yield has been taken off this crop. Take a look here at Kansas. This week, uh, Planalytics is expecting 35.5 uh, bushels per acre taken out of this crop. That's down four bushels per acre from last week. And bottom line here, the big thing to take note of is six bushels per acre below trend line yield. Obviously, that's gonna be pushing the crop. If you look here at the very bottom line though, we have US yield now at 43 bushels per acre. That's down two bushels per acre on the week. Uh, and as you can see there, that's three and a half bushels uh, per acre lower than trend line U.S. yield. I think this grain market has a little bit more, uh, or this wheat market in particular, has a little bit more upside. That sounds fair enough. You know, let's turn right over to the cash market here. We can talk a little bit about what's happened in the last week. You know, the cash market was so hot last summer, and now, you know, it's going to be kind of interesting to see what happens this summer. Just in the last week, we actually saw basis decline a little bit for both corn and soybeans. We saw corn down three cents on average across the U.S. We saw beans down two cents on average across the U.S. But there was pockets of strength. If you take a look at, uh, at the map here for soybeans, one of the interesting things is that we saw crush facilities actually improve significantly while the river and the gulf were off. Now, one of the other things that was kind of interesting is, is if you take a look at the map for corn, you see areas like the Ohio River able to benefit from uh, the strengthening basis down at the Gulf. You know, we had pretty decent export sales earlier on this week. It seems as though the Gulf is bidding up corn a little bit more. And the Ohio River was able to benefit from that simply because they were mostly untouched by all that flooding. Most of that flooding was going on up the Illinois. And, uh, and you can see the Illinois River was really unable to get any sort of basis improvement. Actually, it was uh, hurt a little bit in the last week. Right. If you guys have any questions about marketing opportunities in your local cash market there, feel free to give us a call here at the office. Our number is 877-472-4607. Coming down the pipe here next week on Monday, we are going to be getting crop progress uh, and planning conditions here. Uh, that will certainly be watched closely. Get a good idea of how many corn acres have gotten put in the ground over the last week. Most people expect not a huge increase there just given the weather outlook, uh, but might see more, uh, more improvement there moving forward. Tuesday we have first notice day for the May contracts, and next week we have the Kansas City Wheat Tour going on as well. So uh, anybody out there holding Kansas City Wheat, that'll be a good, uh, good thing to watch. We'll be tweeting about that tour as uh, updates come out live on Twitter, at Grain TV is where you can find us. That wraps up our show here, though, for a Friday afternoon. Thanks a lot for joining us. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday.